Hey, it's product review time here at At Your Leisure. And today, as I promised earlier in the show, we're going to talk to you about the Case Overland Trailer. These are made in South Africa. They're extremely light, but they're extremely strong. They're all metal construction, and they're designed to take the elements. This is a fun machine, and the fact that it weighs in at about 400 pounds means that you can throw it behind your Razor or your uh, Ranger or your Talon, and you can take it into the back country. So overlanding doesn't mean you just have to have a big fancy Jeep or van. Now you can take your side-by-side -side and go anywhere in the world. Let's find out about it. This particular model comes with the uh, optional tent rack on it with a tent co-tent. Um, these actually go up extremely easy. It takes start to finish about seven minutes to completely set your camp up. There's a lot to look at down here on the bottom, so let's, uh, let's get comfy and take a look. Look at the uh, quality of the construction, how heavy those components are that this thing is made of. It's got four stabilizers that are removable on each corner. And, and look at this. That tells you everything you need to know about how heavy duty they make this little trailer. Those hinges are not going to fail on you. Now, if you take a look underneath the chassis, you'll see it's got a full-size spare. It has a 4,500-pound axle on it for a trailer that weighs 400 pounds. It also has a six-leaf spring configuration on it, so this can handle a lot of payload if it needs to. On either side of the unit, it's got these racks, these jerry can racks. On the other side, this one's got gas. On this side, it's equipped with culinary water, which, if you're in the back country, 20 liters of water is pretty handy. Want a drink? Attached to the main compartment is a nose compartment up here that's kind of aerodynamic. It fits on the V of the trailer. Okay, it's made out of the same durable metal. And this gives you a chance to see what those rubber seals look like on it. This is a siliconized rubber and it, it really makes a nice watertight seal. As a matter of fact, look how dusty the outside of this is and look how clean the inside is because nothing gets in it. All right, when you come around the front, the hitch is going to look really different. That's because this comes from South Africa and they have a different way of doing things there. When you drop it down, it locks into place. Safety chains are kind of different in South Africa. They basically just pop over the hitch, which leads me to something else. Follow me. Rig this. This is a 50 millimeter ball. That means that you cannot use a regular two inch ball on it. It's kind of built in theft proof, but don't lose the ball. To fully understand how this works, watch how easy this is to go up. Take seven minutes to fully assemble your house. And voila, seven minutes later, you have your abode. Come on in, let's take a look. On the inside, you will see that you've got basically your balcony or your loft and your main area. Now, this isn't a, this isn't a living space, so to speak. But if the weather's inclement or the bugs are bad, you can set your chairs up here and actually have a comfortable existence within this space. Uh, the ladder stores up on the bed when the tent is down in the down position, and it gives you your access with a grab bar to get to the uh, bunk bed. If you're at a point where you actually got a growing family, uh, you can start with a trailer when you're young, you're single, you're married, and then as you expand, there's room down here to put another full-sized mattress and a place for a couple of kids to sleep. So as a result of your living space being off to the side of the trailer, if you need to access some of the stuff that you are toting alongside, don't worry, you don't have to pull your tent up. They've put zippers in here that allow you to access this side of the tent. There's your gas can. Okay, so there you have the tour. It really is a very simplistic machine. It's designed to be durable and live out there on the Serengeti. So if you want to be one of the cool guys who lives his life on the Serengeti, remember there are two models. There's the 53 inch one that you can tow behind your ATV. And then there's the 60 inch model that you can put behind your Wolverine, your Razor, your Talon, and go over landing on your side by side. Okay, that's it for our product review, our what's new here on At Your Leisure. We'll be back with more of our chillin' at Maple Grove in a minute.